Double your fun, double the pleasure. Twin 15s, the second half. It's going to be interesting. Green flag in the air. Brad Heron gets away at the start with Michelle Johnson on his bumper. Scott McPhail already making a run to the inside. Mark Saul gets sideways into the one of Chris Dickey. Everybody stays straight. Three wide going into the third turn with Terry Martin on the inside. Michael Bossy in the middle and Mark Saul on the top and they're five wide. Four wide coming out of turn number four. And Michelle Johnson spins in front of the whole field and everybody misses her. Okay, Tommy, I was in victory lane with Billy Hogan. I said, he's going to take it easy or go for it? He said he's going to take it easy. He's been throwing it down five wide off the back stretch. Obviously, Billy Hogue wants to win this one. Car second place is the zero of Scott McPhail. And they're dead even at the chalk line. Here it gets the advantage going to turn number one. Brad Walker trying to get underneath the zero of Scott McPhail. McPhail to the inside of Heron, but Heron will take the spot coming out, coming down the backstretch. Meanwhile, look who's already up into fourth. That's a triple seven of Cody McPherson, your point leader coming into tonight. He's on the inside of the three of Brad Walker for that third spot. And he will take that spot coming out of turn number two. Now he goes after second on Scott McPhail. McPherson to the inside of McPhail going into turn number three and he'll come away with the second spot now coming down the front straightaway. Meanwhile, Billy Bleach wasted no time coming to the front. He's already up into the fighting for the fifth position with Rob Disher. Bleach will take that spot going down the back straightaway. And Billy Hoke, your feature race number one winner already up behind Disher for that fighting for that sixth spot now. Hoke, your feature winner earlier tonight. He's underneath the 17 of Disher. Billy Bleach now taking over the third spot. McPherson still chasing down the 12 of Brad Heron, who's very strong out front. Three wide down the front stretch. And now the 33 of Colin Court is sideways way up in the weeds in turn number three and four. And green flag, we're back to racing with five laps in the book, 10 to go. Brad Heron and Cody McPherson drag race down the front stretch, and Heron will get that run coming out of turn number two. Billy Hope tries to make it three wide with Heron and McPherson. He'll back out, and Billy Bleach is also right there in the 108. Now McPherson takes the lead again. Brad Heron fights back strong on that outside, coming out of turn number four. Draws even with McPherson coming down, the, coming into turn number one. Now Billy Hogue again three wide in that 48 car between 108 of Billy Bleach and the 12 of Brad Heron as they end a turn number three. Now here comes Scott McPhail to the inside of Amanda Stoner for that fifth spot. Stoner gets the better of him there. Billy Bleach to the inside of Cody McPherson now as Billy Hogue also makes it three wide again coming out of turn number two. Bleach and McPherson side by side down the back straightaway. McPherson will get a slight edge going into turn number three, but Bleach right there on the bottom coming out of turn number four. Halfway down, eight laps in, seven to go as Billy Bleach still on the inside of McPherson as they race for that first spot down the back stretch. And again, McPherson gets that run into turn three. But we'll look for Bleach to again make a run coming out of turn number four. He draws even with McPherson coming down the front straightaway. And here comes Billy Hoke back into the picture again. Kicks it two sideways in turn number one. That'll give him a good run coming out of turn number two as now Bleach briefly gets in front of the triple seven of McPherson. They're still side by side as they will come to the lap car of Gord Bates here in a minute. Still side by side with McPherson and Bleach. Now Bleach draws ahead of him at coming out of turn number two, but McPherson again gets that run down the back straightaway and 
pulls ahead of the 108 of Bleach again, but now Bleach back to the inside of McPherson coming out of turn number four. They're side by side at the flag stand with 11 laps in. Dave Bailey goes for a spin in turn number two. That will bring out a yellow. As they come to the chalk line, the green flag comes back out. Bleach gets a good start and gets a car length or so on McPherson as they go into the first turn. But McPherson dives low to the inside of Bleach. Can't make that one stick. And now Hogue is right on McPherson's back bumper. Now McPherson using that high groove to try and get around Bleach. But that won't work as Bleach still holds the lead. Now just three laps to go and McPherson will dive to the outside. Trying to get that run. Now Amanda Stoner with a big run. She'll go between the 48 of Hogue and the triple seven of McPherson coming down the back straightaway. Amanda Stoner with a strong run coming down that back straightaway. She's still three wide with McPherson and Hogue. And now the 15 of Mark Thorne and the one of Chris Dickey get crossed up there in turn number two. And we'll have another yellow with 12 laps in. Billy Bleach. Still holding down that first spot. Bleach comes out, takes the green flag with McPherson with a better start that time. He goes to the outside of Bleach into turn number one. Now Hope to the inside of McPherson coming out of turn number two and Amanda Stoner again making a big run going into turn number three. She'll go to the outside of Billy Oak. He's right on the tail of McPherson as they current. Meanwhile, Brad Bacher spins in turn number Four, and we also have the 37 of Jeremy Bean and the 38 of Terry Martin locked together briefly. They get separated. Bacher also gets going again. So the leader can accelerate at that cone in the middle of turns three and four if he chooses. He waits till almost the chalk line. Now he takes off. Bleach in the 108. It's a bit of a car link there, but McPherson again gets that run down the front stretch and he's back on the rear bumper of Bleach again. Three wide back in the pack with Disher in the 17, the zero of McPhail and the 44 of Cox. Now Amanda Stoner's made her way around the 48 of Hogue. She's into the third spot. Hogue will try and fight back. Meanwhile, Hogue, a little bit squirrely come out of turn number four. That'll let Cody McPherson on the top get a run, but Hogue holds down that spot again. Amanda Stoner on that 18 and Billy Hogue in the 48 fighting over that third spot. 108 Billy Bleach slides up to block. Triple seven Cody McPherson, he'll take the feature win. McPherson second, Amanda Stoner in third. Hogan fourth, Brad Heron fifth, Jamie Cox sixth. Scott McPhail I believe was seventh. 17 Rob Disher eighth. And 37 of Jeremy Bean was ninth unofficially. Bleach down here in victory lane for his first ever feature win. He's got the helmet off. He can hear you now. How about a big round of applause for Billy Bleach in the 108. No roof height measurement rules here. Billy, your first ever feature win. And it came over a pretty good field of cars here as Cody McPherson and Billy Hope, among others, are right on your tail the whole way. How'd that feel? Uh, I didn't think I was going to get it, but um, uh, I got to thank Jason Fontaine, because without him, I wouldn't be here. My dad was here, but he had to get his own car in. After whatever I did in the heat on the wall there, it was destroyed. Fontaine helped me fix it and helped me get here, so I'm thankful for the rest of my sponsors. Yeah, that was a hard drive you took there in that heat race. And, uh, huh? We, we didn't, didn't think you'd be able to get it back together. together. How, How much damage, damage was there to the car after that? Uh, the whole front end was pretty uh, much smashed up between yeah. Fontaine and uh, so Billy Hill because they're all fixed up for the feature. Well, your first ever feature win, and it didn't come on your home track, so you're going to have to get one on your home track, I guess, soon, eh? We're going to have to fix the car up a little more tomorrow. And you got a big trophy here somewhere. There it is right there. 